Hello everybody. I've been the tip again. It says, uh, what was I dumping? I think I was dumping. I was dumping some old vacuum cleaner parts actually that I didn't need anymore that I'd accumulated. A few vax hoses with holes in them and old solution tubes. Anyway, so I lob all that in the used appliances, obviously the used electrical appliances section. And this was in there. This. Electrolux, the boss, but I think they all said the boss during the 90s. <laughs> um, the bo I'm trying to think of what... The boss Stairmaster. Yes, there it is. See, the boss Stairmaster. Aren't I lucky? Anyway, it's 1,300 watts of unrivaled suction power. And it's got short to long pile carpets. And there's no mention of hard floor on there whatsoever, which leads to me to believe this is not a hard floor machine. It's still got all the sales, st the sales stickers on it, which is quite cool. Attention allergy sufferers, Micron filter system. Retains up to 99% of pollens, household dust mites and other allergens as small as one micron. Woohoo. And it says there, the boss. Back saver handle designed to reduce back stress. And it says the same thing there, back saver handle designed to reduce back stress. So they obviously run out of things to write, so they wrote the same thing twice along the side. Um, NBPA approved, working with the National Back Pain Association. It's a very, it's a very caring machine, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose you could say. Powerful 1,300 watt motor. Micron filtration stair cleaning system. My phone camera's broke, so I'm using my um, camera here, camcorder thing, so the quality isn't as good. But hopefully, I mean, you're not missing out so much, are you? Because it's not cleaned up yet or whatever. It says there, back saver handle, so it's obviously trying to make a big thing about this back saving handle. Um, I won't lie to you, I've had it open, but I've not plugged it in yet. So it's it's the fair it's not the first time I've seen this machine. I was fiddling around with it half an hour ago, making it look a bit more presentable. But I've not plugged it in. I don't know if it works. It could go bang. I don't know. Um, the last video I uploaded, I think it was of a Vax one two one. That was literally as I got it. You've seen it, but I've had this for about half an hour. <laughs> not that long, anyway, is it really? Um, and as many of the bagged up rights in the 90s, made by Electrolux, it has the power switch here, hmm, that seems a bit dodgy, but I don't really like, I like switches to be honest, because the thing with these push buttons, ones like that, you can't tell if it's off or on, just by looking at it, you only find out when you plug it in and have a heart attack when it comes on, well that happens to me anyway, Um, I've not touched the hose, but the thing with the Stairmaster hose, the hose enters the machine at the top like that which isn't really a good idea it's never a good idea to have a hose enter at the top because when it's on and there's powerful suction you know that 1300 watts it was on about earlier when it gets moved they tend to fall like that but with my amazing skills i've managed to catch this one um yeah the hose was but to you know to compensate for that they include this little rubber rubber thing there that clips down to so this orange clip there like that to keep the hose at the bottom so when you move just move the cable when you move the machine comes with you instead of falls over or oh, that's the idea yeah see it here it is coming with me um yeah <laughs> so there's something about it let's how does that come off now uh, there we go and that then ooh, goes over here What's that there? Hmm. Hmm. I missed that before. I missed that. Look at that in the hose. Oh. Uh oh. A piece of glass sticking out of it. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. Bloody hell. That was sticking out the hose. That's no good, is it? And that's that will have now. There'll be a tiny. Hopefully, it is. It's only tiny though. But there's going to be a tiny hole in this hose now. I've lost where the glass was anyway. But there will be because there was a piece of glass stabbing through it. Anyway, so that goes over the top like that. It clips in there at the bottom. The hose pushes in. And it goes into there as well. 
so obviously we've got the traditional sticker that they always like to slap on there. Warning to produce to reduce not to produce, good God. To reduce the risk of electric shock, do not use on uh, no, do not use outdoors or on wet surfaces. And it's got the sticker here, which you won't be able to read because it's on my old camcorder which doesn't do good quality or focus or whatever. And there's also another sticker here which wasn't put on by Electrolux, it says service force. And it's got a number written in ballpoint pen which isn't showing up because I'm looking through the viewfinder and it's just one white glare on the screen. So this service force, service products made by AG, Electrolux, Parkinson, Cowan, which I've never heard of, Tricity, Bendix, I've never heard of them, and Zanussi. I've only heard of AG, Electrolux and Zanussi, I've no idea who the other two brands are. DBE Electrical Service Limited, service 01516473633. Um, another sticker there, customer helpline. The extension tubes are missing though, unfortunately, and there's a thing that would have been to keep them in the holder, a little bouncy button thing, so they would have clipped into there. But it does come with two of the small tools. Obviously I ragged this out with skip, I just yanked it out so they could have fallen off, I don't know, I'm not too bothered. I'm sure I've got some of the parts bin which will fit this model, saying that I don't even know if it works yet. Here is the crevice tool. It does come with a crevice tool, a medium length one. Nice really, that's alright. I don't know, well I think it's a bit of suction relief. There's these end things on it, end cutouts. It's a stop strain on the motor. Well that's what I think it is anyway. Um, and it comes with, it's not the unique Electrolux butterfly tool, but it is, it is a combination tool of sorts. If I can, that's jammed on. There we go. Um, yeah, it's a dusting brush on one side which is hideously distorted so if you were to vacuum a chair or something it wouldn't pick too much up at all. That's probably just put more muck on than it's took off. And on the other side is a bit of an upholstery tool to go like that. I find separate tools are better, combination tools like this monstrosity are a bit too big and bulky and aren't really fit for use. But it clips onto those two little notches there and it sits there looking all pretty. With your Electrolux back saving thing. It looks, I mean, I remember seeing them in Argos catalogues and I always used to think they look a bit weird and I'd never, I'd never buy one because they look, they look weird, don't they? I mean, I remember seeing them side on in the Argos catalogue. They used to give a side picture, it was a bit of a picture like that and I just used to see the handle and I used to think, what the hell is going on there? I'm not going to get one of them. And now I've ended up, obviously, I'll take one for free but I wouldn't have paid for one of these, not even with all the back saving technology that's included. Um, yeah, so as I said before, it's the Boss Stairmaster. And I've been in the bag compartment, which I'll show you now, but I have to have two hands to open this. Do you know what? I think I can balance you on my knee, or can I? Yeah, there you go. That was amazing. Um, yeah, because you have to pull, it says there, pull at both sides, and the bag door comes off like that. And there's a bit of a, I took the bag out because the bag had burst, so I've given it a little vacuum out with the Hoover Pure Power. Well, not Hoover Pure Power, basically a rebranded Pure Power. It's obviously a Hoover Enigma. Because Hoover are very guilty of getting old machines, giving them a new paint job, and calling them new. It's not new at all. That design is from 1997. Anyway, sorry, getting sidetracked. The filter in there, which is wrong, someone's just slapped that in. It's far too big for the filter hole. Um, until I get something better though, I'm going to cut that to size, that should fit there, it should go in there over this metal, over that metal grill, but it's too big, so it just, it's just too big, <laughs> it needs cutting down. Um, and on the back here, I noticed this, and on the front here, if it can pick up, I noticed this. So obviously there was probably a higher end model that had a piston bag check indicator or bag full indicator. But this one does not have a bag full indicator because it's probably a lower model. Because although, I mean, there are still plenty of high, high end machines knocking about. Most people, when they look in the Argos catalogue, they just pick the cheapest one in the range, or they did in the 90s anyway. Hoovers are hoovers now. They don't seem, well I should say vacuums. Vacuums are vacuums. They don't seem to do the same range as they used to 
you know, where you get low-end models and high-end models. Nowadays, they all just seem to have just one choice, and that's it. But there used to be, you know, bottom-end machines, top-of-the-line machines, and this was obviously... I put this at a medium. A medium-range machine, because it's, it's obviously got stuff to brag about, because the bag door's full of stickers. But there's a blank-off piece where the piston bag check indicator would be. So there was obviously something better than this. So I'll just put this on here. Hmm. Didn't really think this through, did I? How am I going to bang that back on now? Because I don't want to put yours down. Oh, that sounded ooh, painful. Anyway, that's clipped back on. There's no bag in it, so I'm not going to hoover anything up, but I am going to plug it in and we'll see if it works. I've not tested the... Uh, the release button yet anyway. Hmm, that seems to work fine. Click. It's also got an air vent here for the air to come out of the motor. And as they all do, a built-in carry handle there, which is far too short and doesn't work properly. Because, I mean, you just saw then, didn't you? If I put my hand on that, the whole machine just tilts back. It's no good. But there's also, there is one there, which is better. You can pick it up from that, no problem. Um, yeah, I've put the hose in. I'll just show you the underneath quickly, and then we'll turn it on for a nice firework display. Not. Well, hopefully not, anyway. Um, yeah. It's probably been in someone's garage for many years, as things usually are before they go to the tip. The brush roll's in good nick, actually. The brushes come out just slightly further than the base plates. The brushes aren't worn at all. That brush roll is fine, but the belt could have snapped. And here, I've got plenty of belts. A few cobwebs under there. Yeah, not nice. And ooh, look at that beauty! Big dead spider in there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Anyway, that'll all go when I completely wash it out. Doing right. So let's plug it in. Ooh, there's something else I forgot to say. There's another filter. There's the exhaust filter here on the side, and to access it, you open this little door. It's cute in it, little door. Mm. And um, that comes out. This thing's gonna need new filters. They're all mucky. If it works, it's going to need new filters, I should say. If it doesn't work, I'm going to break it down for parts. I've got no bags that fit it anyway, which is why, even if I am just plugging them into tests, I do put a bag in to protect the motor, but I've got no bags for it. So I'm not going <laughs> to. I'll order a pack of five or ten from eBay, if it works. It's just been raining outdoors and it says do not use outdoors, what a rebel I am. Anyway, I'm going to stick it there. It's got a moulded on plug so it's not, it's not that early that it would have had a rewirable plug that is moulded on. And we're going to switch the socket off, plug it in. And we'll see if it goes. And if it doesn't go, it could be off at the machine. But like I said before, there's no way of telling. Obviously, you'll see a video of this when it's all refurbished, though. I still need to do one on the Vax 121. Anyway, 1, 2, 3. Right, nothing's happened. So it might be off at the machine. And it's got a foot action pedal there. So I've just pressed that. So that should have switched the machine on if, if it was off. So here we go, one, two, three. Is that smoke or dust? I can't smell it. Oh, the smoke coming out of that. I think it's the belt though. Should we see if the belt's going? Should we see if the brush roll's going? Because it did sound like the belt was slipping and it doesn't smell electrical. I think the belt's gone. Anyway, eyes on the brush roll, guys. No, the brush roll's not going. And the smoke pouring out of it, which indicates to me the brush roll is jammed. So whether it's melted the bearings are stuck or something, I don't know, I'll have to take that apart and see. Anyway, it's got a good motor. What I would say though, because people don't really service vacuums anymore, that's probably the reason it's gone to the tip, because the brush roll stopped spinning and someone doesn't know what the hell they're doing, so they've skipped it. 
Anyway, I'll show you the bag actually because I love that in the bin. Not that you'd be interested, but um, it's got it's it's knackered basically, which shows they don't really care too much. Here's the bag. It's got a funny collar on, which is why I don't really have any of them bags. So I'll have to order some now. I know it works. If I can get the brush roll going, and look how much cellar tape's on that. It's being held together with cellar tape, which is why the bag had burst. Which really is why the thing isn't working. So I'll just get some new bags for that, and I'll see if I can get the brush roll going. Obviously, like I said before, though, I'm going to fix it first before I order some bags because there's no use spending money on bags and filters to find out it won't actually work and the brush roll's broken properly. To be honest, looking at it, if I can get the brush roll working, fine, great. I'll keep it and use it. It's a nice machine to have. If I can't get the brush roll to start spinning, I'm not going to spend any money on a new one. I'll scrap it for parts and sell all the parts on eBay. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. We know it works, don't we? How lucky am I? I've got an Electrolux Stairmaster. Well, Electrolux the Boss Stairmaster. Woohoo! Right, see, we've got this little... We've got a sausage dog, right? So those steps are to help it get in and out the house because it's a bit steep, the door. And whenever I take a vacuum outside, the cord always gets stuck around it. Anyway, I may do an update video, an after refurb video. But that's it anyway on this Electrolux, the boss, Stairmaster. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.